Premiere just got a brand new update and it will completely knock out Resolve in some areas. Just kidding, I also love Resolve. A few months ago, I addressed some bugs and annoying things happening in Premiere. Luckily, Adobe saw my video and they fixed some of the issues. So before we start, leave behind a comment with struggles you're dealing with because Adobe will 100% see this video. First, make sure you have Premiere Pro 25 beta installed from the Creative Cloud app. Now, to start out, we're gonna look at the things they fixed. The first thing they finally fixed is the transform effect. This one has been bugging me for years. Back in the old Premiere, you couldn't create a scale animation starting from zero while having motion blur enabled. This resulted in a glitchy bug where the first frame would jump from a hundred to zero. This has finally been fixed and I'm really happy about it. Next, they also fixed the timeline zoom bug. This bug is the reason that I haven't upgraded since 24.3. Now you will be able to hold down alt and use the scroll wheel to zoom in on the location of your cursor, just like in the older Premieres. This is the reason I'm finally upgrading again. Thank you so much Adobe. Next, they introduced zooming in and out in the program monitor with your scroll wheel, just like in After Effects. This is awesome, but it prevents you from navigating in time when you're masking, for example. However, you can now just move your cursor outside of the program monitor and then it will work just like in the old Premiere. This is still a little annoying, especially when you're masking, but I actually have an ID that might fix this. So Adobe, listen up. What if instead of using only the scroll wheel to zoom in and out, you also had to hold down control while scrolling to zoom in and out. That way when you scroll without the control key you can still jump frames forward by using the scroll wheel. This is just an idea I have, just let me know what you think down below. Next, when you launch Premiere you won't see the big import screen anymore. Just a simple pop-up to give your project a name, choose a location and you can choose a project template. If you now click on create, Premiere will show the import screen unless you check the skip import mode. I love that because honestly I'm not using the import window at all. Now, before we continue, check out my Premiere Pro beginners course down below. You will learn everything you need to know to master the software and become a professional video editor. I'll leave a link for you guys down below. Next, the essential graphics panel doesn't exist anymore. Yeah, it's now called graphics templates. The only thing you can do in here is access your templates. To edit your templates, you need to use the properties panel now. I don't exactly understand why they did this, but I don't really mind. Now let's take a look at the motion properties. As you can see, they introduced a crop feature right here. This is awesome, but it still needs some work. You can only adjust these properties individually. You can't adjust them in the program monitor like with the original crop effect, unless you use another feature, but I'll show you that in a second. Now, something else. I'm not sure if this one is new, but I actually just discovered it. To adjust the transform properties of your video, you can now hit a new transform button in the program monitor and adjust the scale position and rotation from here. You can also use the crop features and this time you will be able to use the crop lines, which is extremely useful. Thank you. The corner pin effect is finally GPU accelerated, but I think it's the third time they accelerated this effect in beta, but it always ends up not being GPU accelerated in the official release. So, yeah, I guess we'll see. However, I would love to see the turbulent displace effect to be GPU accelerated, because that effect is so cool. They also introduced new teams. Instead of the brightness slider, you can now choose between a super dark, dark or white team. It looks kind of weird, but hey, if you prefer a light team, why not? If you're experiencing bugs that you didn't see in this video, leave them down below, because again, Adobe will see this video. Let's make Premiere Pro better together.